When Universal Avionics wanted to add new features to its cockpit display unit, it realized it would have to tap new ideas. So they challenged their own people to put together a process that would make sure that no stone was left unturned. Well, let's hear it from the team themselves in what they call the Grand Challenge. As a team lead, I reached out to several of my friends here. Uh, Lori, she's in sales. She has first-hand experience on what the customers want and what is marketable, um, which impacted our design, right? We wanted to make sure that we implemented functionality that was attractive to our customers. And then we put that in a proposal and then submitted it. We won the first phase and moved on into an implementation phase. So we were initially given seed money after uh, proceeding from phase one into phase two to come up with a rapid prototype and a demonstration of our device. We wanted to incorporate the, this new functionality via our touch um, control display unit with an existing product that was currently certified. So it became an integration effort. What we did is I have the expertise of these three software engineers. We came up with, um, Brian came up with the handwriting gesture recognition portion of the software development and the algorithm that we used in, uh, and the machine learning that we, that we implemented on this device. Rich was able to come up with the communications that talked with this uh, essentially graphics processing unit that implements the handwriting recognition and integrated that with our current existing product. And then we had um, Trevor come up with the new CDU or control display unit pages that the user would be able to interact with. Additionally, one of our members, Kafir, which is not here right now, he implemented voice recognition and we integrated that into our specific product. We did this within a matter of five weeks. As a systems engineer, the product development life cycle is much, much longer than that. But we were actually able to implement this rather quickly, um, integrate it into an existing product line, which saved us a significant, significant amount of time, uh, potentially redu reduced a lot of risk, right? Because we're working with something that we already know, and allow us to be able to meet the deadline of presenting a functional product for this convention that we hosted in Denver so that users can see and play with it and give us some feedback. So it worked out rather successfully. <laughs> Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.